So I'm still waiting for a couple replies back of this segment I want to do. I'm not too sure how YouTube is handling uh, private messages to people now. I mean, uh, that was last night. They should have replied by now, but oh, they were busy or, you know, they could be busy uh, doing something and not have read them yet. It's just weird that I sent two messages and uh, usually one would get replied back by now. But um, I just um, took out some more banana peels, layered them with uh, coffee grounds, and then those pants that I showed the other day that were all cut up, I put layers of coffee grounds in that and then wet it all down to get rid of some of this. It's... Uh, the banana peels are taking up space in my freezer and I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> Each time I open up the freezer, a couple banana peels fall out, wrapped up in newspaper. But uh, let me give you a, a look at that. So as you can see out here on the back porch, that's the pair of pants and it has coffee grounds underneath. And that's soaking in water. I'm using well water. I think I've mentioned that before. You don't use chlorinated water at all. Tap water you don't use unless you let it sit out for a couple days. And over here in this container are the banana peels and the coffee grounds sitting next to the plants. So if there's any evaporation, the humidity will uh, help the plants out also so that's what I've been doing and then I just watched Chris Perillo's live stream on Friday he's in Toronto for the Buff Buffer Fest and everybody basically was watching the uh, CN Tower more he didn't uh, he went into a little bit of the YouTube comments of how they've changed and his thoughts I don't I don't mind them um, it's a little bit getting used to let me switch this around and second so talking to the camera I don't mind the comments so far uh, you can either reply pr private or public I've seen people ask about it already of you know they don't understand it but if you reply on Google it shows up on the YouTube uh, comment section, which I like. It, that's a lot easier. Uh, I'd rather do it that way, kind of. It doesn't matter. Each way of where I reply still shows up. So now if you reply on Google+, Plus, it automatically goes to your YouTube comment page of whoever you're uh, commenting on. And it shows that you 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 replied from Google Plus, and then you can uh, you know have it public or private, and you know the only thing I've seen so far on it is a glitch maybe last night of when you reply to the comment on the YouTube page that it makes you sign in, which it shouldn't if you already have it linked. It should already just say, oh, you, your account is linked, and then you should be able to reply. Well, last night, it told me to sign in to the G Plus page, you know, your Google page, to reply. So, I don't know if that's fixed. I haven't replied to anybody today from YouTube. So, that might be something someone might uh, come across and see and... Uh, just sign in and then you you will be able to reply to the comment So when I was having Supper tonight making it I had uh, macaroni and cheese and I was cutting the cheese and Again, I took a slice out of my 
hand. This one's a little bit deeper <clears throat> than what it has been. And so I've been uh, putting my aloe vera plant to use. But uh, I won't show you the cut. But uh, I used the aloe vera on another cut the other day. And within like the next day it was all healed. So I'm hopefully this cut it's not that bad but uh, you know it's just a cut so I figured the uh, aloe vera would help it and uh, hopefully it will be healed by tomorrow so I was looking on YouTube last night and Facebook and seeing people posting comments of how they don't like the reply system now on YouTube uh, a popular gardener on YouTube was over on his Facebook account and was saying he wasn't going to ever link up Google Plus to his YouTube account. Well, I guess he will never reply to anybody because that's basically what you'll have to do. Or make a new thread with the at symbol, symbol to them. So, you know, I don't see what everybody's hang-up is, is not linking up. You know, takes only a couple minutes and then it doesn't affect either account. It just helps you out. And uh, you, to me, it makes it better. You know, you can uh, reply from either one. Or you can have a conversation on uh, G Plus to somebody and have that conversation over on the YouTube comments about uh, one of their videos, which I did yesterday. I was uh, helping out uh, another person on there, and she was kind of confused. and So we didn't see the YouTube comments. All we saw were our comments over on uh, G Plus. But then if you look over on YouTube, the comments were in the thread also but we couldn't see any replies back from there so it's a, like a one-sided conversation which is fine I mean you're just having a conversation on G plus but if anybody else comments on YouTube uh, you won't be able to see that so I wanted to take you back over to the worm in which is the fabric cloth bin that I have and I think I forgot to mention the other day that the space that this requires on the PVC structure is only two by two feet I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's two foot square, so it doesn't really take a bunch, you know, a big space in your house to have it. And seeing that I broke this up the other day, I wanted to show you watering it today. So, as it's nice and broken up. And this even went down even more compared to the other day. Um, probably 8, 10 inches. I didn't know it went down this quick. I can imagine how many worms are in this now. I mean... So, I'm guessing I need to f feed this pretty quick and put more bedding in it, which I'll do today. The um, banana peels that I made up yesterday, or last night, I will uh, put that layer in here with uh, the coffee grounds and then put uh, some cardboard. Because this thing is going down quick. What was it, like last week? 
Yeah, you know, last week, you know, when I showed you, it wasn't down that far. Maybe half of that. And I haven't done anything to this. Except, you know, what gave it a little bit of water the other day. This might seem a lot, but uh, it's soaking it up. I haven't uh, seen it come out the bottom yet, but uh, this will give it a good soaking. So that was this big container that I found the other day going through the free stuff. There, it's just starting to drip now. So, let me go get the food, and we'll put a layer of food onto this. So, feeding this will be easy as all the other bins. These are banana peels, coffee grounds, and just add this onto the top. So I'll move that up and around so it's not all in one big pile. And uh, <clears throat> then the worms will move up out of the castings that are down below into this and feed on this. And after, and on this, I'll put uh, a layer of cardboard to cover that up and uh, for some more bedding on top. The newspaper is acting like bedding also, so that will help out, but I'm going to put a layer of cardboard seeing that this is being chewed through pretty quick. So I went and grabbed cardboard that's been soaking for a few weeks now in one of my bins and you just add it to the top. I'll smooth it around afterwards, but uh, just dump it in. Like so, there was some white paper that was in there, which is fine. The paper will get eaten through. And then you just cover up all your other bedding and food in it. Pretty much. So it's nice and dark for them. And they've got bedding on top. And there's still space left in this thing. There's still a few inches. It's not even full yet. If I really wanted to, I could dump a bunch of more food in this and it wouldn't hurt it because of all the air it gets. The more air it gets, the faster it decomposes. It's not going to be anaerobic, which means no air for decomposing. So, it gets air on all sides, underneath, on the sides, on the top. So it's not going to be, or it's not going to hurt to dump a bunch of food in this. I, I've seen people just dump, you know, 40, 50 pounds of food <clears throat> onto the top of these. And it's fine. Because you, you have you have enough air. That's a key key process of the worm in is having enough air for the worms 
not to breathe but to uh, have around them enough moisture this thing's wet this thing's soaking wet it's you know dripping out as much water as you saw plus the water from the bedding here and the and the food that I had too there was some water in there so these worms are going to be happy they're going to be healthy that's what you want is healthy worms you don't want uh, little puny ones not doing much you always want to feed them and have them generate more cocoons to generate more babies to have more worms so that's basically feeding bedding and watering the worm in oh and I forgot to uh, put the dried newspaper on top so you put layers of dry newspaper like so and you're trying to figure out what's that going to do more well if the worms want to come up into the bedding the wet cardboard that I just put there they can and with this dry stuff on top will give them the darkness that they need because worms like get dark remember they don't like the light so that will give them a layer of darkness on top and if they want to move up they can if they want to stay down below they can where the food that I just gave them are so for those that have never seen a worm in in action that's a worm in and if you're new hi how are you thanks for uh, joining me and my worms today and uh, if you like the content on here uh, please subscribe give it a thumbs up uh, say hello I'm always willing to chat with people and uh, thanks for watching hopefully your day is as good as mine